How you doing? 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 This is World War Prime and this is Main Blast reporting you from Southview, the Bronx. Book it down. That's right. The book it down. Book it down had an incident not too long ago in Southview. And yep, yesterday probably, and it was a shooting, a shooting in a, in one of my favorite projects, Southview Projects. That's right, and nobody's talking, nobody's talking. Personally, I don't understand how you can solve a problem without saying something. I know it's the law of the streets. Don't get me wrong, I've been there and. And you're not supposed to snitch or anything like that. I don't know who that helps. It doesn't help nobody. It don't help anybody, but it helps the criminal. It helps the criminal to keep shooting people and keep causing anarchy. And it frustrates the police. That's right. It frustrates the police. It makes the police hard, job harder to get these criminals off the street. But we got a new snitching rule in the hood. You're not supposed to snitch. Or you get stitches, some shit like that. And I, I, I this rule been since the early '80s or something like that, and the shit got worse and worse and worse. The country is in turmoil. Everybody shooting everybody. It's the wild, wild west up in here. The wild, wild freaking west. And the problem with that is. You're not getting your problem solved. There's no way. I mean, you just not call the police. You can have community meetings that will go one through one year out the other. Uh, you can set up little camps at little projects of security. That won't even last long. That will last a couple of months and all of a sudden it's gone. <laughs> and as simple as that. I mean, if, if tenants do not want to come down there in their lobby and screen all these people coming in and out of their projects but I'm gonna let you see the story of what happened in Soundview and hey just another shooting in the wild wild west called the Bronx that's right off the freaking chain welcome back welcome back to be a night of trick-or-treating that turned into horror. Gunfire ringing out at the Soundview houses, hitting three people. The shooter, still out there. News told the Bronx reporter, John Angelosi, is there with the details. This all happened just after 9 p.m. here on Randall Avenue. Police say the suspect's bullets hit two teenagers and a 24-year-old man. One of the teens was shot in the head, the other two hit in the leg. We're told all are expected to survive. Now, police have not released surveillance video just yet. And I spoke with the development's office, and despite a police presence here today, they claim to not have any information on the shooting. However, I also spoke with a witness who did not want to show her face on camera, but she told me what she heard and saw. And I hear about six shots. Then I heard screaming. Then after a while, I heard ambulance and, fire and the police departments, police coming in, and then there was helicopter flying up in the air looking all around. Now, police have not released any identifying information on the suspect, so if you have any information that can help police out, give Crime Stoppers a call. In Soundview, I'm Gianna Delosi, News 12, The Bronx. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Soundview, The Bronx. Where I grew up. Where I'm my old stomping grounds. I mean, damn. I mean, it's always been that way. It always will be that way in the projects. It's off the chain. People just don't want to say anything. <coughs> they don't want to tell anybody and they will never get the situation uh, the problems cleared up with this this crap that's going on in this country. So I don't know man. Bronx is still the wild wild west. That's why I call it wild wild mother freaking west. All day every day. And you got these people out here just with guns. You got, like I said in my video, where are they getting these guns? I mean, these are felons. These are career criminals. These are people that sell drugs left and right. Where are they getting these guns? Okay, and I'm sorry to say, you know, <laughs> they just appearing out of nowhere. And you got rules in this society that you cannot repeat, cannot 
own a gun if you have one federal uh, arrest or so forth and so on, but somehow they're getting these guns. And the only way I can figure out how they're getting these guns is because somebody wants them to get these guns. Okay? And if somebody wants them to get them these guns, then somebody got big plans for the hook. And it's all through the news every day. And the hood is getting more dangerous and more dangerous by the decade. And it's being more noticed and more noticed by the decade. And I'm sorry, man. It's getting crazy. Check out my website, World War Crime, on Twitter. And leave some comments on, on YouTube. And I said, uh, uh, I don't know, man. Shit is crazy. This this is main this main blast from World War Prime.